Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is poem 995, and this is called Fuck You If You Didn't Like It. There's a world filled with critics. You can put your talent out there for everyone to see, and some will butcher it and tell you the worst things, and in the end say, it's constructive criticism. Remember to be strong, retrieve that fierce lion inside, and keep going, keep writing, or do whatever it is you do. Don't let them win, because if you do, you've proved them right. Fuck you if you didn't like it. You're right across from me, reading my material. You pull out that handy red pen and start making marks as I keep nodding my head, accepting your constructive criticism. But you just keep going and going with that red pen. And when you're done, you just crumble it up and tell me that I can't write that, that I should just start over. I laugh, pick it up, uncrumble it and say, fuck you and walk out of the office. All my life I've been told not what to wear, how to act, what to say, how I should conduct myself, lose weight, look and present yourself a certain way. Well, you know what? I'm tired of living up to people's standards and expectations. I have fought so hard for these words. I have been through so many battles. I had to confront so many demons. I had to burn and rebuild bridges. Poetry has helped me find the hidden line in me. Before, I was this shy, timid little boy that was afraid to be outspoken, so I wrote anything my mind would come up with in notebooks, on my phone, on my folders, anywhere, so I would make a statement. As I got older, those words were a reminder, something to live by, so I used them as a personal anthem for anything in life. And well, that's how my voice got so loud. But like everything in life, there comes a price with a gift like this. There are people who will love you and people who are envious, people who will hate. And sometimes those critics can be so harsh, so impacting, so powerful, that it can make even the strongest man on earth break. I'm tired of people nitpicking when they have no talent. How the hell are you going to sit there and tell me how to do this or that when you haven't even walked in my shoes or haven't even written half of what I've done? No, I'm not saying I'm the greatest poet who has ever lived, but a thousand pages is still a lot, and that's not counting the stories. Do you know how many words that is? You want to count? Go ahead! I have put myself out there, my emotions, my thoughts, my ideas, my theories, my phrases, my stories. This is all of me. And if you don't like it, if you hate it, if you think you could do better, then go ahead, be my guest. But I'm sure you will never be able to do what I do. There's only me, so fuck you. I'm going to keep writing for those who see what I do.